Hi darlings, this is Christina and today we have a very special Chanel launch. I'm so excited. Let's get into it. <laughs> Okay, I do not believe this is a special edition formula because it is the Rouge Allure Velvet, which is already a part of their line. But I do believe it is limited packaging. This is very cool. So I purchased two of the colors. I purchased um, 4.00, which is a warm brown. And I purchased 7.0, which is a warm pink. And very interesting when it officially launched online margot robbie is all over it and it almost looked like it was like takes of movies i was like what is this this is super cool like i love the uniqueness of it now i did tell you guys this was coming in my um, review of the new makeups so if you catch my yes please or thank you next series which I've started I go over the launches that are coming and there's launches all the time so it just depends on what I have got at that moment but I said I was going to get these so beautiful first of all let's take a moment to look at this beautiful white and black packaging OMG I don't know if you noticed, I never have ever changed out my necklace because it's a wedding gift for my husband, but I thought for this momentous occasion of Chanel changing their packaging, I would change out my necklace. This is my Penny and Co necklace. It's actually a wedding gift from, I guess from each other because we went on honeymoon and I purchased this and this is a special edition. It's made in Ireland. I bought it at a Tiffany store about 14 years ago when we got married. I haven't seen anything since. I wear it every once in a while, but I love it. And so I thought I'd wear it. So yeah, anyway, I thought I'd say that in case you ever notice, I never change out my necklace, but I did today. Let's start with this warm brown. Okay. You know I've been on my 90s girl kick, so I am gonna swatch it here. That is so pretty. Mm, I can't wait to put this on my lips. So let's just put it on my lips. Okay. Guys, it's been raining all day today. Oh, if you hear that sound outside, that's what's happening. Now my lips are very dry right now, guys. So if it's clinging unnaturally, it's because it's not the lipstick, it's me. I don't know what's going on. I think I need to declutter a bunch of lipsticks that I'm still using that are like expired at this point. Actually, some similar colors to this. Wow. This is a lot more um, reddish than I thought it was going to be. Look at this. I was thinking this was going to be very brown, but it's very warm. Like, I'm not mad at it, though. But this feels very much like the Rouge Allure Velvet lipsticks. Guys, this is beautiful. I don't think I have a brown like this. It's not red. It's definitely brown, but it leans like a warm. They're not lying when they describe this as a warm brown because it definitely leans kind of reddish in tone, but I also think that makes it very wearable. This is sexy, guys. I don't want to take this off. Oh, this is so sexy. This, I've never had a brown like this. It is rocking my world right now. This is 4.0. This is giving all the drama and I'm definitely feeling like I'm in a movie, my own movie. Christina's movie. Okay guys, let me take this off and let's do the fresh pink. So now we're gonna look at 7.0. I have to also mention these have 3.5 grams of product in an 18 month shelf life. They are made in France. So this color looks so pretty. I was like, this is the perfect spring color. Look at this, it's gorgeous. So let me swatch this for you. And honestly, I don't have any colors quite like this in my Chanel lip collection. So let's try it on. Mm. 
Now this one, for whatever reason, feels like it has a more slip to it. I don't know why. They're the same formula. Okay. It's very bright. Very bright, but still pretty. I feel like if you pair this with a lip liner, maybe you don't even need to. This is really pretty, guys. What do you think? The colors are really making me ready for spring. What do you guys think? Okay, darlings, I want to try one other thing. I want to see if I can use this kind of like as a blush. Something about this shinyish finish is making me feel like I can use this multiple ways. So, I don't know. Let's let's see. Yes, I already have a little bit of a different blush, which I will talk about in the description down below because I did a review on it more recently but this video will come out first so yeah let's put it here let's see i mean i don't know if it's fair because i already have a blush on but it's not bad It's not making it worse. This one shears out in a way that's really different. So I'm gonna show you this here, okay? And then let me show you the 7.0. Am I, I don't know if it's me, I don't know if I'm crazy, but it just feels different. Like this one just feels thicker. Look, do you see? Shine a little stickier, huh? But they are the same formulas. Rouge Allure Velvets. They're both Rouge Allure Velvets. I don't know guys, I, I don't know what that's about, but I think because of this color, I think it actually works really well. So I'm not mad that it has a touch more slip because I think with this color, it makes it really pretty. I don't have anything to compare this particular color to guys, but I do have some comparisons that I will show swatches for 7.0. The first on the left side is the 7.0. The one right of 7.0 is Terre d'Etoile. This was a Rouge Allure Velvet. One alongside of Terre's Etoile is Beige Ardent, or Rouge Allure Velvet. And the last one is Alter Ego, and that is from last year's Spring 2023 collection. This is just in the Rouge Allure collection it's not rouge allure velvet so those are the comparisons darlings tell me are you interested did you pick any up are you thinking of picking any up i like i said i think it's a limited edition color but if i'm wrong i will list it down below that these are limited edition colors i mean all chanel's colors are limited to a degree because at some point they start changing out their colors and they're gone so that's that but darlings tell me what you think about these colors i really like them i really like the brown i like them both i think they're both they have a place and i'm here for it but darlings um i hope you have a great day a wonderful week and i will catch you in the next one bye